going to uh, right now extend over. B21 is happy to be a part of the U.S. Conference of Mayors Partner America 2017 Small Business Advocate Award Ceremony. We're proud of Mayor Bill Carpenter for being this year's recipient. Mayor, you're an advocate of small business. Couldn't happen to a better mayor. I'm going to turn this over to Chris Cooney from the Metro South Chamber, and uh, he will make the proper introductions. Chris? Thank you, John. Uh, you know, it's always nice uh, when someone recognizes something you already have experienced yourself, uh, where they see something uh, special about a community that you're living in, and, uh, and, and you realize that it's not just you who's seeing it and appreciating it. And uh, in this mayor, Bill Carpenter, we have uh, a friend of business, uh, particularly small business. Uh, he has uh, undoubtedly uh, spent more time with businesses in this community uh, than I would say any elected official uh, I have seen in the last two years. Uh, we can call him on a moment's notice and he will take a meeting with a business. Uh, he will come out to a site. Uh, he will um, show up to hearings in support of them. And uh, this is done in a strategic way. Uh, in every instance, the taxpayer of uh, the city of Brockton benefits. Uh, he sees and recognizes the potential for raising revenues for the general fund by fostering and enhancing and building uh, the capacity for business in Brockton and how that exponentially uh, uh, builds uh, when a business is successful here and has had direct contact with the mayor and they are profitable. Uh, they tell uh, friends and they tell friends and, and Brockton gets a better reputation as being a business friendly community. So uh, I, was, I was delighted to hear that uh, we would have the opportunity to host uh, Jeff Bean, who's a former uh, mayor uh, of the city of Fitchburg, and uh, he is now the managing director of the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and uh, he came into town yesterday, had a chance to kind of visit with us and visit the city and see all that Brockton has to offer, and we're just delighted that he was able to stay with us last night in the local hotel, pay some local room tax. <laughs> <laughs> And obviously, you're all too young to remember the, the old Brockton Fitchburg High football games because they don't have those anymore. But I don't think they're old enough to, to know that. But again, thank you for uh, allowing us to be here today. My name is Jeff Bean. I'm the managing director with the U.S. Conference of Mayors. I'm not sure if you're very familiar with the U.S. Conference of Mayors, but it's the uh, organization of cities that are, of 30,000 and greater. Um, your mayor has been an active member of our organization. <clears throat> the primary role of the U.S. Conference of Mayors is to promote the development of effective national and urban suburban policy, strengthen federal city relationships, ensure that federal policy meets urban needs, provides mayors with leadership and management tools, and create a forum which mayors can share ideas in that. Your mayor serves on two of our committees. He serves on the International Affairs Committee and the Jobs, Education, and Workforce Committee. We also have our Partner America program, which is a small business program in partnership with American Management Services. With the help of our Partner America, with, with the help of our Partner American Management Services, we provide mayors tools, resources, and best practices to help the small business and the communities grow and prosper. We're here this morning to celebrate the success of small business in Brockton and to recognize your mayor for his outstanding support and efforts on behalf of the small business community. Small business is big business here in Brockton. We have created a business-friendly environment here in Brockton, making it easy to start and grow a business. It's helped many new entrepreneurs fulfill their dreams and start their own businesses. He created the first multilingual small business guide, the first resource of its kind here in Brockton, developed by the city for business owners to help them make their way through, business, through the municipal process, including permitting, licensing, and zoning. Because small businesses do not typically have the resources to, for, real, for real retain legal services, this guide serves as a roadmap to navigate the sometimes confusing process permitting can become. And it's in three different languages. Mayor Carpenter increased investment in public safety for the city business district, restoring <coughs> both walking beats and historic and bicycle, bicycle police paths, and installing surveillance cameras in distressed corridors. He identified concerns of local small businesses and incorporated them into the new citywide comprehensive plan 
by supporting programs and actions that will attract entrepreneurs and minority-owned businesses. He simplified the planning review process for new businesses, making interaction with the city more user-friendly and welcoming. Your mayor worked with the Brockton 21st Century Corporation and the BRA to create an elite Brockton team of economic development and workforce officials to assist small business expansion, improve local commerce, and help, small, help Main Street business survive and grow. Mayor Carpenter introduced SEED, Southeastern Economic Development Corporation, a program that offers qualifying small businesses in the city and throughout the region microloan financing opportunities to help their business thrive and expand. As you can see, Mayor, Ca Mayor Carpenter has been a true champion of small business here in Brockton, and the Partner America program is proud to recognize him for his efforts. On behalf of the Conference of Mayors and its members, I'm proud to present the Small Business Advocate Award, which presented to Bill Carpenter, Mayor Brockton, for his dedication to the small business community, September 21st, 2017. Mayor Carpenter. This is nice. Put it down for a minute. Well, apparently Jeff has not forgotten some of those Brockton Fitchburg football scores from over the years. <laughs> um, I don't know if you realize this, Jeff, but I actually called uh, many of those football games on the radio and made many trips to Fitchburg. And uh, we actually were playing Fitchburg regularly just up until about three or four years ago when the yeah, MIAA changed the, uh, the playoff format and we had to give up some of our traditional opponents. But in all my years doing the games, we made a trip to Central Mass every year, alternating Lemonster and Fitchburg would take turns coming here. And uh, Fitchburg's a great city and, and uh, one of those places where we had a great football rivalry. Uh, but when we went out to visit Fitchburg, they always treated us like a million dollars and were very uh, inviting and helpful. And, and uh, there's probably a lot of parallels between Fitchburg and, and, and Brockton. Uh, Nonetheless, I'm very uh, honored and pleased uh, to, to receive the award from the small, the small Business Award from the U.S. Conference of Mayors. And I, I just want to share with you a few of my thoughts in terms of uh, where we've started three and a half years ago and, and, and where we're going. Uh, as, as we work with our economic development team, and I think one of the keys is that I think from day one we've looked to have a team working together. And I think We've worked with everyone in this room multiple times on all different types of initiatives, uh, but our economic development plans are, are done on a team basis. Um, we rolled out a couple of years ago, Brockton 2025, a 10-year vision for the city's economic development. And Brockton 2025 actually identifies 12 specific business districts across all sections of the city. Uh, for revitalization and we began in the downtown we're in Campello now and we're going to continue to move from district to district over the next 10 years to make sure that all segments of the city uh, enjoy the economic revitalization that we're enjoying our vision for downtown Brockton it's mixed-use development and in mixed-use development is is based upon a foundation of a vibrant, flourishing, small business community on the ground floor with market rate and workforce housing uh, built above it. And our vision of the future of downtown Brockton, uh, here where we stand, is this vibrant place where businesses flourish and people can come to shop or find entertainment, have dinner. That's, that's the vision, that's the game plan, and that's what we're, that's what we're building. So we've realized all along that, that businesses, and particularly small business, is the lifeblood of our local and regional economies. And Chris, I appreciate your comments. I think that the Chamber has been one of our key partners in terms of economic development because we realize that uh, the redevelopment of Brockton's economy does not happen, you know, unlike Trump, we're not looking to build a wall. Uh, we realize that economies are regional today and that as Brockton thrives, we will lift the whole region with us, and we also need to be supportive of business interest in the entire region that helps Brockton. Uh, a lot of Brockton folks work 
in the surrounding communities around Brockton. And those jobs are just as important to Brockton families as Brockton jobs are, and they're really the result of a regional economy that's thriving together. Uh, and we realize that as we, you know, we look at the financial needs of a city like Brockton, that by growing our local businesses, it's allowing us to keep money in the city. We're looking to recirculate disposable dollars within the city. So as small business can grow and expand and families and individuals earn paychecks, they spend that money here in the city. And then those businesses spend that money again. And we want to keep that money recirculating here in the city. And we get, a, you know, it, that's what's going to help us to all grow. I think that also, one of the great efforts, I think, that has resulted as a partnership with B21 was we created the first, the city's first small business guide. And, you know, this is a resource to allow small business owners to navigate their way through city government, particularly zoning and licensing and permitting. And as, as we were campaigning four years ago, that was a, just a common complaint I heard from small business owners all the time, was that they would be trying to do the right thing or looking for help, but couldn't find it because no one was showing them where to go. And, you know, being bounced from one city department to another city department, being told that it's not our job, try down the hall. Well, that's unacceptable, and we've worked really hard to overcome that. And this small business guide has been a big piece of that. And I think that what really uh, separates this small business guide that's available both online and in, in hard copy is that we've made it available in four languages because we know that our immigrant-owned businesses are a vital key to our future and that some of the obstacles that small business owners have are even enhanced further if there are cultural or linguistic barriers. And by putting this thing out in multiple languages, we're making it easier for uh, our immigrant business owners to be able to also uh, access city services and, and find their way through city government, which is um, hard enough to find your way through if you're familiar with it, let alone if you're not familiar with it. We also realize that it's critical to our, our city's small business districts that we invest in public safety, and we've done that because we know that a business district has to be perceived as safe if it's going to invite customers in, and we're taking that challenge head on. Uh, we have restored both police walking beats and police bicycle beats uh, to our small business districts. And we're looking, if we get the funding from the city council, we're looking to expand those bicycle beats and those walking beats, particularly during the warm weather months. Because not is it just a part of our community policing plan, but we know that that police visibility in small business districts is critical to the public's perception of safety. If someone's going to stop their car and get out and spend some money, they've got to feel as though it's safe. It begins right there. I don't care how good of a sale is going on inside that particular store or how great dinner is at that restaurant. If the public doesn't think it's safe to get out of their car and go in, they're not coming in. And the businesses are allowing us to even invest and expand further in public safety, particularly around business districts. That has included right now ongoing projects to install city uh, public safety video surveillance cameras in business districts, and in many cases partnering with small businesses and commercial property owners in the installation of those cameras, and also the installation of LED lights across the city that we've just kicked off a couple weeks ago. And over the next four months, every street and public light in the city will be replaced by an LED that shines 50% brighter. And that's an important part of creating that perception of a safe business district. Safe, clean, and well lit. Those are the city's responsibilities, and we take those responsibilities very seriously when we're making the investments that we need to make. Uh, Rob May, our Director of uh, Planning and Economic Development, has led the way over the past couple years in the development of our blueprint for Brockton. 
uh, which is our citywide comprehensive plan. Brockton hasn't had one in decades. And an important part of that planning process is, ha is was to have had business owners at the table with input into that plan. We know that as we envision Brockton over the next 20 years, not only do we envision successful business districts, but clearly defined business districts where people expect to find them and where people want them. And as, as this comprehensive plan is implemented, we're restoring residential neighborhoods and their identity at the same time that we're identifying and restoring the business districts with everyone having input as to where those business districts are best positioned to thrive. And as part of that comprehensive plan, we've also been, you know, made sure that we've looked at um, the concerns of entrepreneurs and minority-owned businesses having all of the stakeholders at the table. Uh, Jeff mentioned we've done work on simplifying planning review and those processes, and I'll tell you that that's an ongoing process. We're still not where we need to be on that yet, but we're committed to getting there. Uh, we've worked with Brockton 21st Century Corp, the BRA, our new Brockton partnership, uh, to really create this team of economic development officials and workforce development officials we've spoken about. Uh, Sheila's here, Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board is a critical member of the team. We know to attract many types of businesses, we've got to be able to provide employees that have the proper training to work in those businesses. And you know, Sheila's done some great work working directly with Brockton-based companies to identify what those training and skills needs are so that we can create that workforce here in the city, not just to support those existing businesses, but to bring more in as they realize we're able to provide the type of workforce that they need. Um, the Brockton Partnership is underway, and, and they're developing a private sector-driven partnership uh, that will also help address Brockton's needs. And this is a collaborative effort on the private sector side that in which the city is not part of the Brockton Partnership, but we're standing alongside ready to work with the Brockton Partnership on uh, goals that they identify, areas that the city needs to help support the private sector in making Brockton more business friendly. Uh, you know, I think you'll hear the word collaboration come up over and over. Recently, we've established uh, a quality of life task force that meets weekly with me every week, identifying safety, uh, safety and quality of life concerns, not just of neighborhoods, but also of business districts. And many of the issues we're tackling directly impact uh, the city's uh, business districts. And, you know, we need to make sure that property owners are accountable for maintaining their property properly so that the area is inviting to businesses and we can't allow one irresponsible property owner to negatively impact uh, the, the eight surrounding businesses that are all doing everything the right way. Uh, so it, it involves um, multiple city agencies working on those issues on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, Jeff mentioned SEED, Southeastern Economic Development, and certainly we've worked with them, the Chamber, the, uh, the SBA, in, in uh, supporting their work, sponsoring many uh, forums and workshops here right here in this room often in this building to help provide technical assistance to small businesses because we know that there are a lot of hardworking people that have a great idea and that are willing to work 100 hours a week to make it work, but they've got to have the right guidance and the right technical assistance. And again, particularly when we talk about first-time entrepreneurs and uh, immigrant-owned businesses that may require even more technical advice. Uh, than some others that, that we're making those efforts to offer that, that support to help them uh, ensure their success. Um, the facade program with the, with the Brockton Redevelopment Authority, we're, we've got several projects ongoing right now where the BRA and the city using CDBG funds are providing matching grants to small businesses so that they can afford to put that new facade on their building that not only improves their business, but improves the entire business district. And we've identified some specific business districts where we're making those grants of, of BRA dollars for new facades. 
So I think you've probably heard me say before that we recognize that our greatest small business potential growth looking forward in a city like Brockton lies within minority-owned, women-owned, and immigrant-owned small businesses. We know that there's tremendous potential for growth in those sectors, and we also know that those business owners are committed to reinvesting here in Brockton. They're not some national company that's going to take the profits and go somewhere else with it. As those small businesses expand, they either create more jobs and pay more taxes by expanding their current operation, or they reinvest in additional business and properties here in the city. But they continue to prime that pump of investment for us. And so we realize how important it is for us to make sure that those small businesses succeed. So we're very excited with, uh, about the, uh, the work with uh, Partner America and the U.S. Conference of Mayors. I greatly appreciate them making the trip to, to Brockton, Massachusetts today. They, they travel all over the country. Um, and working with Partner America, we're very excited to, to tell you that we will soon be announcing uh, the Mayor's Small Business Advisory Board. And the goal of this Small Business Advisory Board will be helping small businesses to start and grow and to work with those small business and helping them handle fixable problems. And uh, I know I've got Andrea here with me today. As part of that announcement, we will be announcing uh, Andrea Burton's appointment. Uh, she's our Director of uh, Community Engagement, but uh, I'm also going to be asking her to serve as the Small Business Liaison for the Mayor's Office, and she'll be working directly in concert with that Small Business Advisory Board. So this will, will meet on a monthly basis with Andrea working with them on a daily basis. It will provide a, a framework for me to hear directly from small businesses as to what their needs and concerns are and how the city can respond to help them succeed. And I think it's important that I'm able to hear that message directly from those small businesses. So. Um, I'm excited about the future of the city of Brockton. I know that um, we've made some progress over the last four years, but I think even more importantly, for the first time in a long time in this city, we're doing some real strategic long-term planning to, ins to ensure continued growth and success for all segments of the city, particularly our small businesses. So thank you so much for the recognition and the award. Thank you. <laughs>